what's up you guys it's kaylee we are having a productive morning already and i'm going to take you along with me for the rest of my day as we go thrifting started this roast in the crock pot that way i didn't have to make dinner when i got home we visited a small little place to get some coffee and i don't know it's nice sometimes just to have like a feel good moment before you start your day um, if you're struggling with motivation like i was this can be a good remedy just take 10 to 15 minutes visit somewhere new and then get started hey guys it's kaylee again and here's joe and we are going thrifting today and i am at a location that i honestly don't love shopping at it is very busy very competitive kind of chaotic so i'm not sure how much thrifting we are going to get done in here but i will capture as much as i can and show you what it is we're finding that's on camera. Are you recording me? Yes. I'm recording us. We'll cut that out. Okay. I'm getting a cart because sometimes they run out of carts. So if you see one on the outside, you definitely want to grab it. And I feel like we probably should have brought a reusable bag too. But... We can stuff it in the hallways on the way out. <laughs> what? Why? For what? Well, because Ollie's is home of the $5 mystery comic bundle. You just brought that in out of the goodness of your heart. Look at this nice stuff. That's so cool, I love that. I know. I like the chair too, right next to it, the stool. Yeah, that's sold. Oh. Actually, I don't know, they might all be sold. No, it's just that. Look how nice this is. Looks like somebody hand painted part of it. I might be able to hide in this when we hide and seek. Stop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Telling you, someday we're gonna have a furniture business. Apparently in order to get stuff now, you have to camp out back here and be here as soon as things come out the door. I did get an athletic cardigan. I don't think I'm gonna have time to look all these up until the end, but. Is this like a Y2K brand? I don't know. I, I don't know, baby. Oh, it's, it it's looks good. like one. I'll tell you that. It's definitely good. Sapphire Lounge. It looks like something Jesse Pinkman would wear, That's too. That's what I said when I picked it up. <laughs> Jesse Pinkman hoodie. It's got some stuff on the back. I have to spray that down. An L.O. Mean fleece jacket anticipating the following season. A couple of Spanx larger size items. These usually flip quickly for us, but I'll still look them up. Free People sweater. That's for me. This was probably the best find so far. And it just goes to show, if you have more knowledge than other people, this can be sitting out on a new rack that people have just gone through and you can still find it. If you find any more of this, it's really good. Okay. This is like a jacket type thing, so it's gonna do even better. And then I found this on another new rack. It's a J. Crew women's, kinda looks 90s. I don't know if it's Y2K should do good. Apparently this is a vintage ski exercise machine and they're going for like 150 to 200 dollars but not a good sell through rate. Otherwise I might consider actually getting it and selling it on Facebook Marketplace. Found a pair of on clouds but they have too many issues to be able to save. So within sourcing, we've definitely been trying to transition to the future season, meaning fall and winter. So anything we're looking for now, we are anticipating listing in a few weeks, which means we need to switch our efforts into getting colder weather items. So as I'm going to the shoes, I am looking mainly for closed toe shoes, especially boots, because those are going to be super popular here in about a month. Um, and some of the colder weather items that I have are already selling, so definitely starting to look.
good example of something that is not comping well right now it is a marmot men's fleece jacket size extra large i'm not going to get it because they're charging 9.99 but when i do comps the sell through rate is about 50 percent in the dead of summer which tells me that this is probably going to do well here in about a month and this would be something i would risk it on if i were getting it for a cheaper price full-length women's Abercrombie and Fitch cargo pants perform really well. These are crop ones. I'm still gonna look them up. They might do good. These are bad. I do think I'm gonna have to make up a price, um, but I'm willing to do so. I think I'm gonna list them for about 50. So the manager just said that they're gonna bring out a bunch of True Religion and Rag and Bone stuff in about 10 minutes, and there's a bunch of resellers like hoarding that door, but I'm thinking if you go with me, that we can grab as much as we can. Anything rag and bone or true religion. She said they're sorting it, but there's also a bunch of people that I think are just gonna like grab everything and go. But if we could even get a couple pieces, I would be pretty happy with that. So we'll see. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> she's really popular right now and i've seen people sell some of her stuff for like crazy money really? i'm gonna google lens it and see i need to look them up i was still going through the athletic wear stuff when we stopped major. myself doing this but thanks for reminding me So what did I tell you would happen just because people were a-holes to us earlier if we weren't mean? You told us that God would bless us with something better. These aren't marked up. Rag and bone jeans. Wow. And then these are good American, which in my opinion have a better sell three. I found one, two, three pairs. You were right. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is after all of that, I'm actually going to put these back because they don't have a good sell-through rate. If they were new tags, I'd probably get them though. But we are definitely absolutely getting all these. On this lone Survivor men's croc flip-flop, which would be really good if we could find the other one, but I Jeff don't. Probst? I don't see it. The Jeff Probst croc. Pretty much. Swifties are going to go crazy for this one. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. This is a Taylor Swift Eras hoodie, which is like her popular album right now, and people have this listed for 150. All right, so that was interesting. Um, trying to get the cold air on. <laughs> Basically, one of the employees came out and was talking to all of the resellers towards the back of the store. This store now has changed and for some reason, I don't know what the shift was or why this took place, but everybody hoards near the back doors where all of the new stuff comes out and then the resellers attack those as soon as they come out of the back doors before they start putting them on the shelves. So I was back there because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get stuff. This is just like what they do now. And so I go back there and somebody comes out and says, hey, we have a bunch of new tags, true religion jeans, and a bunch of new tags, rag and bone jeans, as well as some other stuff that we're gonna be bringing out rack by rack, all the brands together. Is that something you guys would be interested in? And we all said, yeah. And then she said, okay, they're gonna be priced up a little bit, uh, but we'll be bringing them out in about 10 minutes if you guys are interested. Um, I got a feeling they're gonna go quick. So at which point in time I went and got this guy because he's really tall. So I thought he might be able to help me if there were two of us be able to like pick through and figure out which ones might be valuable and which ones weren't. Um, what happened was we went back there to wait before they'd come out because all of the other resellers were standing back there as well. There was about like what, five, six of us in total. Yep, six. Yeah, and two, resellers two weasels <laughs> one of which is <laughs> kind of popular on youtube um he was there and one of which was his friend who is a girl i see there all the time and i know her name but i don't think she's on youtube it's right over here and so they were basically conspiring with one another that they were going to 
each bear hug half of the rack when it came out and launch it into their cart. Like they were literally making the motions, planning to do this right in front of everybody so that nobody else could get to what was on these racks. And I thought, wow, that is really, really crappy. And I was like, I hope they're not actually going to do this. And then long story short, the racks came out and that's exactly, exactly what they did. And they ticked me off. They took Joe off and they took every other reseller off that was there. So much to the point that later on, um, one of the other resellers was um, following that girl around and saying stuff to her because, yeah, it was just kind of a dick move, you know? That it was, was. It was unprofessional, it was rude, and the stuff ended up being severely priced up. Like, we got none of it. Um, but I would have liked to have had the opportunity to look through it instead of somebody bear hugging half of it, conspiring with the other one to get the other half so that no one could look at it. That's just so unfair. Um, and so everybody was ticked at them. They ended up putting almost every single item back, which is even, <laughs> even funnier because they didn't even end up getting whatever they bear hugged into their cart. But um, yeah. People were really, 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 really ticked. This guy was pretty ticked. Normally, he's not the kind of guy to not say something. So he really wanted to. I was trying to calm him down a little bit. He said a couple things, but um, not anything too bad. Uh, but I calmed him down. I was like, listen, I was like, every single time something bad happens in reselling, somebody like um, does something unprofessional or rude to me and they end up taking an item that I want, I kid you not, every single time, God blesses us with something later that day. And it's like every single time, it's like good karma comes around when you don't react and you're nice and you don't participate in the bad stuff. And what did we find? Like literally like five minutes later, a new rack came out that no one was looking at because they were too busy looking at those like luxury racks. Right. And I found three pairs of good American jeans. I found a Taylor Swift Eras hoodie, which is gonna go for like $150. Like. And it all comes back around, so. It does. I found a couple of shorts that I was looking for, personal items yeah. like workout shorts that were in really good condition, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, I really, I'm very new to the reselling world, but one thing that I have noticed is it doesn't matter who the person is, how old they are, what they look like, for some reason, resellers have it in their head that if it's a new rack, you don't have to be respectful or have manners at all everything goes out the window and it's everybody for themselves playground prison rules and i'm just not cool with that i, I think that's just incredibly it's just it's poor taste it's bad yeah. you got you, you got to have manners and be respectful towards everybody you know but it always comes back in the end to bite them and boost us yeah and i mean like we there's a way to be aggressive and competitive without being rude to people like yeah. You can be quick, like we do go to new racks and we try to quickly flip through stuff, but we're not like hitting other people. We're not grabbing chunks of stuff, not even knowing what it is. Most of the time, if people are being too aggressive, I literally will take a step back because I'm just like, I'm not in this. But there's nothing wrong with being competitive is what I'm trying to say. But being right. rude is another story. And yeah, it's just, it's crazy. It's just crazy, but- Bizarre. Yeah, long story short, we ended up with some really good stuff. Those people are super rude and like, I just, I can't even look at them the same anymore. And I don't know if they'll ever be able to walk back into that store and the other regular shoppers that they're friends with be able to talk to them again, because I'm telling you, people were ticked. People were talking about it. Like people they were, were vocal. They were confronting the manager about it. They were like, this is orchestrated. Yeah. You didn't even try to hide it. It was just a terrible. Yeah. So. Shameful. It was, it, it was not good. And I hope, um, I you hope know who you are yeah. You're watching, you know what you did. <laughs> you're lucky. I'm a good Christian man. <laughs> if you're watching it, um, and you know that this was you, I just, uh, that was not cool. So yeah, that's it. We're going to go eat some lunch. I'm starving. We ended up, that was kind of a bummer. Cause we ended up staying probably 30 minutes longer than we would have just to wait for all that stuff to not even be able to look through right. it. And so now our lunch is late, but we're going to get some lunch and then we're going to go, going to, going to go to one more place and hopefully we'll be uh, blessed with some other good stuff there just cause we missed right. out. Yeah. Step one, wake up early, going rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, Grow hard about what you want to be. 
Yeah. Tell the people about your drink. What did you make? Well, I'm a bit of a, an experimental chemist because I just mix cherry coke with homemade original lemonade. And let me tell you something, it's fantastic. All right, so we are at the second place and hopefully we'll have uh, some better luck with people here. But I think we're only gonna have time for one more place because this guy wants to hit a comic book store. So <laughs> we will see what we can find real quick and then we'll try to hit that comic book store on the way back. You can get comic books cheap enough, you can actually flip them pretty fast. So comic book reselling is a real thing. You should look into it, it's fun. I don't know, I told, uh, I just have a, I have a weakness for anything Halloween, so if there's a tacky Halloween glassware, a, a mug, anything, I just go for it. I have to have her approve it because she doesn't like clutter, and if she can't see the value in getting something, she will veto it and want we'll to put it back. Mm -hmm. It is going to be clutter, but if you really love them, we can get them. Right now, I'm on a like first date basis, so I kind of like like them and I'm not loving them yet but once I get to know them I might love them. Hmm. Let me show you something unrelated. Okay. There's no way this is real, right? Wow. <laughs> is this Marcel's? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't know yet. I gotta look this up. I have no idea. I have no idea either. These might still be worth it for 10. Is there Kohan Grand OS sneakers? Those look nice. They fit. I think I'll get them for church. It's not looking good, guys. No, that's it. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. The camera died, so. Well, the camera on my phone died, so I can't do comps or anything. I haven't used Joe's phone, but he was kind enough to let me use his phone, so sorry for that. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. men's Oakley down bus and the size largest they're doing really well and this is in really good condition. This is the second pair of on clouds today we're having to leave behind. That like never happens. <laughs> like that and you dig through their bins their older comics and you can find a, a key issue like that for any amount of price that's reasonable and then you, you saw the, the price tag when they know what they're doing hundreds of dollars you should just take a picture of like the back wall and study it that's what I would do yeah that would have been good yeah <laughs> so we left empty-handed empty-handed because they knew their stuff and there was no room to flip anything all right, so I finally got my phone charged again. Um, I, yeah, it died. It was really bad. I couldn't even do comps. Poor Joe had to let me use his. So just rounding out this video for today. Sorry I didn't get footage at the last place a whole lot, but ended up with around 28 items. I was not able to add them to my sheet because my phone was dead, um, but I did count the receipts. We have 28 items to list. Not as much as I'm used to. I think yesterday we got like 40 something. So a little bit disappointing on the quantity, but definitely the quality was really good. I mean, there were some items that are gonna go for over $100 all day long. I think the one I'm most excited about is the Taylor Swift, what is it called? Eras Tour. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a Swifty. <laughs> Eras Tour hoodie. Um, that's 
hopefully going to go for quite a bit. So if you see anything related to Taylor Swift, definitely worth looking into, um, as well as anything that looks like anything she wore on stage. I saw a bunch of people on Instagram. Um, some of you have messaged me about it and there's like a lot of things that she wore that you can get dupes of that sell for quite a bit of money if you use the right keywords. So keep that in mind, but that is it for thrifting with us today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.